And I remember uh, we worked up there, several of us worked up there during the uh, maneuvers in Tennessee. And uh, I remember on Saturday, uh, this was back in the, this was before the uh, Army, the Army was training pretty much here in Middle Tennessee before they went to Germany. Why did they train here? Well, they trained here because uh, the, the terrain and, and everything was very similar to Germany. So General Patton, he, this is the, where he tested all of his armor mm -hmm. and his vehicles out here. In fact, I recall seeing him uh, sitting on top of a, or standing on top of a tank at the corner of uh, East Main Street and uh, Manny Avenue, reviewing the troops as they passed by. And he was just like uh, the picture showing. He had two pearl handle revolver pistols on either side, and uh, I believe he was a four-star general. Of course, it was that fascinated us because we'd never seen anybody like did that. Did people know that he was going to be in town? I mean, was everybody out, or did did? He... I, no, this was no this no. They didn't know he was in town. This just happened to be, I guess. Uh, uh, he just happened to be coming through here yeah. and with 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 that particular troops, but. Uh, the maneuvers in Tennessee, I think, were real, real interesting because there was, like on Saturday night when the soldiers were turned loose, they would come into town and uh, and uh, they, they, of course, they were wanting something to, they would want to come to the drugstores and places like that where they could get uh, milkshakes and ice cream and all that sort of thing. Yeah. And they'd come in so fast and furious that uh, we'd have to close the drugstore about every three or four hours to clean up all the mess and everything because they were... Uh, would they just stand? They would stand. Just... They were just six, eight, and ten deep, and uh, and then you'd finally have to close the door and let another group in. In fact, uh, after we closed the drugstore, which was usually around nine, nine, and nine thirty, we'd go out on the street then and sell pints of ice cream. But the streets were just covered with soldiers because sometimes here in the Murfreesboro, there'd be forty, fifty thousand soldiers. It would be uh, in a town that was usually had about twelve thousand. Yeah, town about ten, twelve thousand, oh and uh, and there were lots of plane crashes there were uh, tanks that were that would run all, off in ravines or in bridges just like it was just like a wartime yeah and they would uh, tanks would just run over people's fences and things like that type and of course the government would pay for all this but they were actually there were two armies fighting here a red army and a blue army and they would wear blue armbands and red armbands and so of course they were just uh, carrying on just like they did when they when they made invasion of Europe in uh, 1944, yeah. so they they were testing out all their tactics here before they before they went overseas. Didn't and uh, I remember a plane crashed about 12, 15, 20 miles from Murfreesboro. There was a crash truck from Smyrna Middle School, uh, Smyrna, not Smyrna Middle School, from Smyrna uh, uh, Air Base, and they came by, and several of us were up on the square at night, and so two another boy and I, they asked us if we if we would show them where Last Cassis was, and so we got on the back of the crash wagon, and, uh, and of course, here again, my mother and dad wouldn't, didn't know that either, but they, they took us, uh, we, sh we showed them how to get to Last Cassis, and when we got out there, it was a P-38 that had crashed, but the pilot had bailed out, and so we, we picked the pilot up and brought him back into town, and, the, and, the, and so there were a lot of accidents, you know, occurred during that time. Yeah. So. Didn't, um, didn't the soldiers like just pass by like oh yeah like like thousands uh, like our house uh, soldiers would uh, be marching by at, let's say early in the morning tanks would be passing by and trucks convoys would be passing by and uh, of course we'd go on to school and when we got in that afternoon they were still passing by and then even all during the night they were, because we were talking about a whole division yeah. of people, sometimes maybe two or three divisions. So, so there might be ten, twenty, thirty thousand troops pass by your house yeah. uh, with the trucks and the, the guns and tanks, and those things would rumble all night long, yeah. going somewhere. Did um, didn't they drop ladders and stuff like that for people to yeah, walk to? Yeah, um, as they passed through the town, of course, they would uh, a lot of them. There'd be a lot of girls standing along the way, and they'd pitch out to their address addresses and to them. And some of them, I think, later, you know, corresponded with them, and mm -hmm. some of them probably even married, married some them. of them. You know? mm -hmm. yeah. That's pretty neat. Um, let's see what else. Do I want to ask? 